to him. He got quite emotional, as you could expect. Here's Forrest going to work. His first shot is short. And Alina Chuck, the other senior, puts it. The straightaway triple. He's good. He's going to be a nice player, and uh, sometimes, you know, looks at too much on that, but it helps. The population of Chipley, Florida, which is about 35, 3,600 people. Small town about an hour from here. On the drive, banking it in for us. From Gaston Community College to Tennessee Martin, becoming a grad assistant at Austin P. For the great Forrest playing his 137th game as a Seminole. He's gotten 103 wins. He's the winningest Seminole ever. The player, he's... he's so hard against this defense. Yeah, and I mean, he leads the league in steals, but hasn't been able to do much today. The cell tried to... This is when, you know, the pace of the game gets in your legs a little bit, affects your outside shooting. Trent Forrest. A picture that lives on in fame or infamy, depending on how you look at it. Mike Bray's shirtless celebration with a lay around his neck. Very <laughs> Maui after that win. Friends and teammates, he's a unique athlete with how he moves at that size. Numbers for the Seminoles, Forrest. And he's in for the Knowles. Vassell off the screen, smothered by Goodwin. Williams to the corner, a Forrest three, rims out. The offensive glass in the first 15 minutes, giving themselves multiple looks on each possession. That was just gas pedal to the floor for Forrest. Forrest through contact, grabs the miss, and is uncontested on his ascent to put it back in. Building, but for Notre Dame, it's been two years, three months, and 11 days since their last win over a top 25 team. To come out and get a basket right away, lets you know that they still are continuing with the momentum that they had in that first half. Forrest, the defense sagged off. He wanted a three, fight for the loose ball. As Osborne went to the ground, Forrest gets another look, and he's swatted it by Mooney. Threes, and that's still, still a loss against Syracuse. Incredible. Forrest into the lane, board by Williams. Pushing it, a swing pass, Goodwin with his feet set. Goodwin has 10 points and eight of them have come there in the first four. Pay-per-view, 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific, ESPN and ESPN Deportes with the prelims. Shot clock expires, Leshesky D games has been just four points for the nine and nine Irish. Forrest on Mooney, hands up all the way, Goodwin's got it. Season to go. Mismatch here as Mooney tries to guard Forrest. He steps through, gets the foul, and has a chance to lock it up. Forrest hits the gas with six to shoot, gets past Mooney, off front rim, a second chance try, and it's good with 3.8 to go. No timeouts for... To his step. Drop off when Trent Forrest went out of the game with two fouls and off cue. Cross. The light gives it back to Walker. MJ Walker over two. And if you're Clemson, you got to make sure that you one get the ball inside it. You cannot be careless because again, you talk about the Florida State guys that they're long, they're athletic, they're going to extend their pressure at some point. Trying to win its first conference title, and Ryan McMahon drops in a three from deep. That is way too easy. Just set a double drag up top and came down and set a stack. He's in a double figures. The lead is double figures. Wara playing in front of 30 NBA scouts. Five to shoot. Time for a heave. 
From half court by Forrest. Riders. And a takeaway to begin the second half for the Knowles and the pull-up. One-hander wouldn't go for Trent to the AAU ball in Philadelphia on a team coached by Curtis Ellison. I don't know if you remember him. I do, actually. He should send me Christmas cards. <laughs> that is pretty cool to be the Vipers. We've got the... There's an XFL team called the Vipers, right? Um, I guess, yeah. I'm trying to take everybody on. They're very fortunate to get the ball back. And sloppy on the inbound. Walker stumbled. Logs it for the way in. By three. If it's by two, that's one thing. Forrest, strong drive, and he scored. The point earlier, Sean, about how much gas does Louisville have left in the tank. Because Florida State looks fresh. Forrest, fresh as he goes to the bucket. One minute to go. Florida State about to be 14 and 3. Their best record in the ACC is 13 and 3 last year. Tonight by 15. Shot 50% from the floor in beating Jeff Capel's team. Forrest and Bryce the rebound. Seven to shoot and Osborne skips for Forrest. Rimmed out, Bassell gives them all conversations and they are so excited about what he brings. Right now it's about the college game in this regular season. Forrest on the takeaway and layup. Here's Gray, lost it on the dribble. Tried to keep it alive, Forrest does. And he scoops it up and in. Four for three here at the front of the frame. Forrest trying to find that space between Bates and Johnson. Ahead for Bryce. Blocked Osborne. CJ got it back. Dixon battling inside, but it's pulled away by Williams. Florida. Some of the shot selection has been questionable. That one definitely classifies. Forrest trying to work Helms off the Osborne pick. No idea. <laughs> but it did. And here again, Florida State. The burn of the clock. Osborne as well. And that's what Florida State is. Hey, you took the words right out of my mouth, Chris. That's who this team is. That's why they're such a tough out. That's why me and you and a lot of the country are so high on this. Right team. now, they have a little more energy than Florida State does. We've talked about how good Florida State's been at home. Slow starts isn't something that you normally see from them. Forrest lets fly. Got a great look from three point left. And a turnover. Scooped up by Forrest. So the Seminoles take one back. His one-hander off the iron. The dribbling that you mentioned has gotten him in trouble. Drum goal with a miss. Here's Forrest in transition. That one-hander, he knocks that down. A team trip, and it was meant to be a bonding trip, and they feel like there was success in that to Italy. But they went in August, right before the season began. Frankly, I don't see any problem with that. Tipped. What a good effort by Olinichek to keep that one alive. Played very, very well. Forrest, he buries a three. Spot, so making sure he, that, that doesn't happen to anyone else on his block. Right. Under 15 minutes left here. Launching long, and Forrest with the miss. Pittsburgh defense, especially when they're playing man to man. Great power move into the lane. Gives it up. Shot clock to two. Forrest will drive it. A leaner. No, it didn't touch anything, and it's a shot. I believe he hasn't been as aggressive this season attacking the rim the way he was as a freshman when he averaged 15 and a half points per game and was all rookie team in the ACC. Oh, Forrest was going for it. Don't know how that went. Johnson off the front rim. Polite back to Forrest for the one hander. Rebound tip two times. The very few teams that pressure the entire length of the court. And they try to do it for 40 minutes of the game. Forrest attacks the glass, and he'll have a chance for three. But also, not turning the basketball over has helped Syracuse because when you can keep Florida State out of transition, it definitely helps you in controlling the pace of the game. If you're Leonard Hamilton and you say, okay, how does Syracuse win games? They win games when Buddy Beheim shoots the ball well. So again, you're never going to take away one seed heading into the ACC tournament. All right, so you say Jordan Wara. Uh -huh. Vernon Carey, uh -huh. Trey Jones, they're on first team. You say Devin Vassell would be your fourth. Uh -huh. So was that your excuse when you got beaten off the bounce? No. My <laughs> excuse was I had to conserve my energy for offense. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest.
Morris showing he's got find themselves in great position with all the pressure now on the Seminoles to respond. Forrest, tough shot off the glass. And smart play by Forrest. But Riviera. Well, Zach Levine's already won multiple dunk contests, so trying to win the three-point contest today. But he's got a viral video with Sir Forrest. Raekwon Gray passed up an open three. They get another look at a three, and it spins off. Down to eight to shoot. They double carry again. He finds Stanley for the lay-in. A terrific cut by Cassius Stanley, and what an alert pass by Vernon Carey over the shoulder against the double. Raekwon Gray, beautiful pass, and the dunk for Malik Osborne. Sophomore from Madison, Illinois, in his first year playing for Florida State, and then on the take back, they got driving the ball. It was impressive, and I'm not sure what would have happened if he hadn't fouled out and it stayed in the low post for the entire second half. And with a smaller group, and now Forrest. Goldwire got caught on Forrest on a switch, uh, Osborne on a switch, excuse me. Uh, corner three. Then, be interesting to see if fatigue is a problem for Duke, particularly Jones, who played 42 minutes. Terrible pass by Goldwire. Moment, and a couple of these Blue Devils really look tired. Jab and Deloria very slow to get back on the defensive end. Jab and Deloria come in to defend. Fourteen to shoot. We're under three minutes to go. In to go. Gray off to Osborne. He got bumped. No call. Walker in trouble. Good ball. Put Duke in a position to foul. I think you'll see Duke press up to try to make it difficult for Florida State to bring the, the ball down the floor. Trust he has in him. He's an extension of the coach on the floor. Oh, Walker had the rebound. On the drive and lead up. Kind of trips to the islands, Phil. Pretty great, right? Oh, Phil's legally dead. Fell off a boat. Going by Dennis now. Solari. <laughs> Long story. Then we got. Oh, no, we're not going to watch. Effort by Forrest. <laughs> and the Seminoles on the attack again. We'll back that in. Fire and hit. Do the Canes are 14 for 16 from the foul line. FSU eight for eight. They're both good foul shooting teams. Pierce, love to see that. Six rebounds a game, so yet another miss for the Hurricanes. Who have been bedeviled by injuries. Looks off the fake. Shot clock down to eight. He'll swing that to him with the lack of depth they typically have. Their stars and likes and McGusty simply don't have it right now. So in a lot of ways, they're empty minutes. And this is where Florida State really Averaging nearly a double-double for the year for North Carolina. Good ball movement leads to an open three that is missed by Trent off their Sweet 16 team of a year ago. That was Cole Anthony for three. And the quick response the other way by Trent Forrest. Where was the defense? Really quiet in this game. He's coming in really hot. The last eight games, he averaged like 18 points a game. 
Tough shot wouldn't get the days you said earlier. Outstanding player at UNLV. Russell was Archbishop Malloy for years. Kevin Anderson from there. Rob Rubin. Scoring three out of the last four years and finished second the other. They're tenth in the league right now. 71 points per game. Well, shooting rolls have been their problem all year long. Right out of the gate. You can see where that baby was going. Nearly nine minutes without a field goal now for North Carolina. Down by five. Prior to the loss against Virginia, Florida State had won ten in a row. Three point chances though for Virginia Tech. Beanie wings his way. Somehow it bounces out. Everything but the finish from Beanie. I think he was surprised that he got there by guards to have to move it all. They just passed one guy off to the other. Forrest falling away and hitting Trent Forrest. Fifth on that list, the Georgia Tech legend. Forrest blocked by Horn. A springy Williams is there. Game, but when you get him the ball and he gets into the lane, you're forcing the defense to have to collapse that last time being able to dump it off. And how about Trent Forrest being able to finagle his way in for an and one? Right, helps you with Florida State. You see Trent, we Trent Forrest comes out, sets it up, runs a play. He don't play at the rim or three point shot. Forrest. <laughs> Tour came up with it. Stop the shot fake. Doesn't get the roll. That a hub miss, and Florida State's running again. But that was a very difficult shot because of all the big guys flying at you. Forrest took the rim for two. Remember, it was 15 4. Notre Dame early on silencing the Tucker Center. Forrest is blocked by Jawan Durham. Up here, and you might think, well, this doesn't mean very much, but it could very well mean a lot in terms of their confidence. Look at this. And that closes out the first half. No dice this time. And again, the long rebound, and Florida State's out and running. Forrest splits. Doesn't get the finish over Durham. Every reaction. I mean, again, now, you, you've got to dig in here. They've gotten a couple of stops, and they've had turnovers they haven't been able to convert. Forrest had it roll off, and a second time it popped out. Bounce a step back. That was a two had it dropped. He's really good at making that shot. Mike's got his hands in there on. Well, not only was that last turnover a bad one, a behind the back pass, and was thrown at Miller's ankles. If you're going to penetrate, try to find Vasilovich. Likes off the win. Instead of a blocking foul, it's a charging foul. Now Florida State has a chance to win it with the last shot. 
It was the aggression again of the freshman Beverly. And they don't want him in there to foul. So as soon as they commit the foul, then he's back in the game. No way. He's sitting out the entire last 24 seconds. Virginia is on the board. You got to see a lot of that from Diakite with this offense. He's got to take matters into his own hands. To the bucket, count it, and the foul for Trent. He's still playing with that soft cast on his left wrist after he injured it against Arizona State back in late November. Can pull into a tie for first place with the Cardinals and Blue Devils. Coach Young's biggest win at Virginia Tech, keeping Landers Nolly on campus when he got the job. As for Clemson, perhaps what they needed, Walker. No, as Gray fights for the rebound, his bat down ends up with Forrest. Not giving up one. Demon Deeks just 35% from beyond the arc this season. Right in the middle of the conference in that regard. All the way to the rim. And the layup is good for the first point of the game. A real vociferous crowd right now. And it's kind of a game that Wake Forest is going to have to generate their own energy and uh, not rely on the fan base for the season. Unbelievable ties between Kansas and the University of North Carolina. Especially in the coaching one, he is. they get to the line 25 times per game. They've already gone 22 times in the first half, and they've got the better part of two minutes to go. And Tom, not this. Only two steals scored yet so far in this half. The leading 41 34. At the break, Forrest gets it back. Can't calculate the angle. ACC. So that means, Mike, Saturday, as this one is tipped ahead by Forrest on the inbounds, will take it all the way to the rim. We're going to be... Geeks are working on a three-game winning streak. We'll have to take out the number 10. 73 wins is the head coach of the Geeks for Danny Manning in his sixth season. Big challenge tonight, though. Against the 53. Closing in on six minutes to go in regulation. It has been a, it has been a half of runs, hasn't it, Tom? Forrest off the backboard. Yeah. Calculates the end. Ten-point game, 120 to go. Certainly not over. Touchdown pass. Forrest. Wow, great, great look ahead. Everybody. Off the bench. Shot clock winding down for Florida State. Getting caught is Forrest. Fades away and comes up short. As Polite slows it down. Polite's capable of scoring as well. His dad was a heck of a player. How about the drive by Forrest? Another try. And Trent Forrest reverses it home. The bottom, as we've seen over the years. Good defense right there. The sell with a steal and the hit ahead to Forrest. He'll lean in and bank it home. Tremendous two-man play. Oh. Great guy, Anthony Marino, his brother Vince, terrific people. Barry Rawson, one of your closest friends, a tremendous person. Called me yesterday, I spoke, he's battling Canty. Warren well, lost it. Trent Forrest goes right at Fresh Kimball and lays it in. What a strong mess. What a takeaway by Polite at midcourt. He'll go in with the left hand. That's blocked by Eno. Back he outside to Forrest for three. Connects. Yard. Yeah, I can't Sarasota. believe he's a senior. A throw away by Kimball. Forrest off the steal. Attacks the rim and lays it in. What a winner here. Together, they share the ball. And they're so tough to prepare for because you don't know who's going to hurt you on that team. Every game is a different guy. Forrest does it again. Now the interior, take advantage, transfer. Marco Polo guy came from Connecticut. And close to history, when you could be in the top five in wins in the ACC in the history of the league, that to me is greatness. A turnover by Alvarado, usually sure-handed. Forrest left it short. And a player, and it was too easy for him to score that. Forrest turns the corner, trying to shield Banks. And then right. Banks got 
at a deflection. It went to Forrest. Tough follow up. Alvarado gives it away. Here's Forrest. With the reverse. You see good use of his body. Got in the lane on two that time. He was on balance and able to float it up there. Nearly reached on Forrest, who missed the shot in close. Created opportunities that Florida State eliminated at the rim, and that's a bad turnover by Alvarado. There's your pick six that Josh Pastor was talking about. It's two for Forrest in the end zone. Passes and, and dribbles by Florida State are being battled, battered around. Well. Forrest, short, right the rebound. Look at the rim. Forrest down the lane. With the scoop. Big four points on an outlet. Yeah, you, you, you want to make that pass, but it, well, it's got to be fundamental. You've got to make the pass and put it on a dime. Both these teams have had a number of, whether it's kickouts, and that's a tough shot by Trent Forrest, tough miss. On his feet. He's 6'10", has to go down and catch it at his feet. They don't close out with the hands up. He was able to get it up and knock it down. Huge play. Williams rising for a ball. from the field when they started 5 of 7 in the half, and that's really a testament to Florida State, they went small, they switched everything, they made everything difficult at the rim, and then they converted offensively when they were able to get out. A very close game for much of this afternoon. First 30 minutes were tight, Florida State started to pull away. James, the forward from the Virgin Islands. Fourth with the dribble penetration, splits up the floater and connects. Day. Trent Forrest with it at midcourt. Koprovica sets the screen. And Forrest picks up the basket and one. Pulls it down. As we approach the final minute here, the first half, the Seminoles now with a 20-point lead, 45-25. Forrest had it blocked, tried to put it back up. In the A-Sun, 59% from the floor. Vassell with the pass out to Forrest. They do that. Well, they did it against Florida, and they beat Florida to death early in the year. So coaches want to stay with that. But so far, they have been hitting nothing over. Aggressive and a steal. Forced down the lane, can't finish. And Florida State. And here comes Florida State. Neither team has been able to really up tempo and push it. Forrest driving. Rito swoops in to tip it. They are. Walker, Polite, Forrest in the backcourt. Walker's been absent from the scoring, and he's a double-figure guy. He's short on that jumper. Reset of the shot to a 10-second differential. It's way too long. Forrest rises and hits. Man, right at the half court, five on five. They want to dribble, penetrate. These are two of the best teams in the country at causing steals or getting steals. That's a three. I don't know if he's got that type of distance. Force drives, cut off there, spins and scores. That's a nice play. Forrest against Dawson. Pull up. Or go off the glass with the left hand. I'll tell you what, that Nada, his shot blocked. Florida State with a chance to take the lead. Judgment, judgment. Forrest missed. Tip won't go. Durr has the rebound for. Off the double team, they throw it away, and this is Forrest. Clogging up the paint as they did there. Knowles mm -hmm. now trailing by two, just underway from Tallahassee. Here's a leaner, about 12 feet in, nice offensive rebound. An ACC team, for that matter, 0-16 against the league. Two on one, here come the Knowles. Forrest had the lob rejected. Pitchers there. And they've come real close. And you look at the last two seasons, the, the, look at the, the crowd they're with. Look at the guys they're running with. Gonzaga, Kentucky, Michigan, Purdue, Duke. I mean, I mean, the numbers say, no, they're figuring it out. That's about 1.6 percentage points lower than it was last year in terms of the three-point percentage. Like some guys, like, it doesn't bother Vassell, but I got. James, tough pass. Vassell, roaming, look out. Here's the lob. <laughs> trying to fight your natural instincts, and at times that's really hurt them because they are giving up open looks to UNF. Forrest leaning in. Another bucket for Long, and now Gray for Florida State. 
Trying to get the big man involved again. Don't leave the ball. Oh, you can make threes, everything you want in a lead guard. Williams, and we saw Sands go down that time, gets up a little bit slow. And a little bit in the first half to see what it could have given you when you were closer in terms of the score line. Osborne comes out of there with it. Wilkes the extra pass. Here's Forrest, top of the key. Playing the first half, was trailing there and didn't, didn't locate Gandia Rosa, giving him an open look. Forrest off balance this time. Quick shot. Underway. Alamir Dawes, the freshman point guard, and here we go. Florida State and Forrest off to the races with a right hand. It's going to be a challenge from the get-go. Corner three. No. Offensive board polite. Forrest from the corner is good. Process here at Florida State. What was your pitch to, to the folks in Tallahassee about what your style can bring and what you can do to turn this thing around? Well, I mean, it... I don't believe he and Maria are going to go to too many dinners the next month or so without that exact request. Out of bounds, Clemson ball. To learn how to play defense. Which tells you something about an 18-year-old kid to have that kind of awareness. Forrest in the corner, a little strong. And, and it's not clear that MJ Walker has fully acclimated to the night-in, night-out demands and changing roles for him as Forrest, a little teardrop will fall. Williams is heated up in the second half. Clemson switching to some zone, a 1-3-1. With Bear on the... Is that a huge half? Walker. State of the back, foot 10 on the shot clock. Oh, and Joey Brunk flushed it home. If they don't turn it over, they feel like they can score against this defense. Forrest, and he plays his best. Pretty good quality for a young guy. Shot clock winding down. Vassell heaves one up. No good. Chip is good. And Forrest just kind of will. This but felt like he really needed to honor. His other dad, Ray Jackson's contributions to their family. So now Trace Jackson Davis. But Dale is here tonight to watch his kid. Indiana looks the part. And that number that we showed you a moment ago, that is why we have to qualify. Forrest went right through the defense. So not that time for the Hoosiers, the layup. Guys down, runs offense, gives you a bucket to Bill. Forrest goes right down the lane and scoops it in. Thought about the long three. Now, kind of just indecisive, had his shot rejected. Forrest came up with a loose ball, and from the paint, he puts it in. <laughs> Values the gum, they got to value the basketball. Forrest had it rejected. Indiana with numbers. Keep the Indiana kids home. He's got a star in Trace Jackson Davis. The follow jam by Trent Forrest. No three point play, still a big play. What a sequence that was. Forrest goes to the basket again. Missed. That's off. Arms turned over. Forrest, the rip, the trip, and the finish. Yeah, that's one thing you can't do if you're Matt. And Wheeler can't knock it down. Again, the offense slow and coming. Forrest held up by Proctor. No foul called. Florida State, they want to get after you and turn you over. Four on the shot clock for Forrest. Jump stop. Pushes it one-handed. Olani check. That's one thing. It means it's still November. Last day of November, but it's November. Forrest with the jump stop. And that's what Trent Forrest does. He gets for FSU. Forrest can't get help. The cell baseline in trouble. Short on the three is Forrest. Six point lead for Purdue. Forrest on the drive, wanted the whistle, gets his own rebound back up, and will go to the line. Six on the shot clock. Forrest down low. Four is too deep. Oilers by four. Forrest on hard. Oh, yes. 
the paint. Nice closeout by Hunt at that time. Jump stop. Forrest can't get the roll and harms the rebounders. Kokovic has got to get him out of there. Forrest to the rim. On home! We're tied again! Shoot that ball. Well, and he gave up size to Gray as well. Down two. Forrest on the run right off the glass. We're knotted at fifth down this year. That's not what he's looking for. Yeah, you know, he hasn't shot the ball well. I mean, he's a much better. He's 7 for 28 from three. That's a nice move. But I'm surprised that Florida... To inbound, tried to get it to Pons, knocked away, another turnover. That's a bad pass. And still got away with it, and Forrest the finish. Defense. Forrest again with a rip. And that one knocked away by Pons. James. They're down eight. They're down eight. Behind the backboard, Dom. Forrest can't get it to go, and Pons the big rebound. Forrest, step back. He can't get the roll. Needed it badly. Forrest the other way. Had it blocked. Hard defensively. That's one thing that Rick Barnes' team always will do. Forrest going baseline. Got it. And one. Well, I thought that might have been. One of the few times Florida State's transition defense wasn't good. The block won't go. And Forrest. Off balance won't go. Kept alive. Gray in the corner, six on the shot clock. Back to Forrest. Short armed it. Kokrovica goes up and gets. Now you definitely don't want to foul. Forrest the drive, the push. And the rebound. He is the primary scoring threat. Solomon Hunt, their center at 6'9, had that ball knocked away by Trent Forrest, who lays it in in transition. Trent Forrest doing what Trent Forrest. Nice pass. Forrest will line one up. Nice pass. Great job. These are the types of games that even, you know, that's going to help them keep getting better when they get into confidence and we play. Trent Forrest, Big three time. more. Big time. Trent Forrest as Ari Masuti. To Adrian's point, Trent told me in the offseason that he got some feedback from NBA scouts. The pro Good play up. Good. Because they know if they can perfect that Florida State way, that Florida State way is going to lead uh, to them having the success they've had so far um, in the last few years. Four by the Cougars, but short on the shot attempt. And here come the Seminoles. Forrest lays it in. Position off balance, finishes off the shot attempt. Another steal by the Seminoles. Start the transfer from Ole Miss in the middle of the floor. Here is Trent Forrest on the wing for three off target. And the rebound comes. Randall Gaskins already with two personal fouls, getting the start in his place. Inside, Mark Flagg, the block, but then it comes right outside. Francis has done a good job not letting this game get away from them in the first half. 10-2 run for the Red Flash. Forrest trying to change it. No, Olenichuk. Koprovica in with Olenichuk. And now a steal there from Polite. Forrest going in. Can't finish, but it's cleaned up by Polite. Can't double A bid from this league. And Rob Kremel's done a great job in conference. Last five or six years has not had a losing season in conference. At the mid-major by Leonard Hamilton. Sure is, they've had a great program. Now on the drive, that's Forrest flipping it into the bucket. He's got 10. Up 21, still playing that denied defense. And now Forrest to the cup, the bucket, and the foul. By and finish. This is easier said than done. Made his man, but shot it too strong. Air ball. Now transition for Forrest, and he got the floater to fall. F. 
Osborne. Gave it up. And forced the finish, I believe. It is Trent Fulton. play defense. 15 Florida State assists on 27 made field goals in the game. That is a terrific percentage. And a rare miss for the Knowles in the second. Opportunity. Osborne had that set back. Ball on the floor. Jack's got it. Forrest turns it loose. Alanichuk, offensive putback. Carolina plays a little bit of a variation of that pack line defense, something that Tony Bennett has brought into uh, the ACC with Virginia. And a good start for the Knowles for it again. That's a couple of blocks for the Seminoles. Great, great work to get back now in transition for his left wing. He'll take it to the hoop. That roller won't go. Sidestep on the evasion on the pump fake, and uh, the they do the three pointers, they've got to knock down. Forrest thought three. May have took, taken an extra step. Stop. Dotson got the lead. 20 seconds. Trent Forrest handles up top. Softly guards in. Creates space. Nice move. Well, he's going to be forced to take a timeout, but he's trying to get to the field here. Forrest double gets to the free line. That won't roll. And a. They've had some misses, but Mark Foster has to be. He has to be happy with the looks that they're getting. They're getting real good looks. They've had three or four around. Florida State's gone over three minutes without a field. They have a, a great knack for knowing where the guys are, the kickout guys are, especially with the clock running down. Seven three point field goals. Obviously, a player is smart enough to know the situation. Play accordingly. Give and go. Picked off by the Knowles. Transition and a hammer time. Forrest with a first dunk. About he, he plays below the rim. I and mean, he's not going to get above the box and, uh, you know, flush anything inside. Forrest. Won't go. Horn and uh, Walker did a nice job of getting his feet under right, right in the right place. Forrest. All the way to the basket. Another dunk. Too long. And Forrest brings it back. Coaching 10 minutes. He goes to the basket. It's short. Kobritacha lays it in. All right, this is a rebound. Seminoles can take the lead with a three ball here. They'll take it. Back iron. Dotson rebound. No ball movement. Osborne coming from behind. Six Florida State blocks in this game. Now Forrest over Faulkner. Aaron shot. And Steger with a rebound. Very impressed with this game tonight, regardless of the outcome. So we're under a minute to go. Forrest, off-balance runner, and the putback. Forrest, that's a tough shot. Good defense by Nampart. Knocked around, Black Shear. Well, the other day, Nick Richards had 21. I think that's great. Yeah. It's super. But now he's got to do it against legit competition. Forrest threw it up. Olenicu came over. Mark State's trying to show a little more patience here. Got a two in that situation. Fred Forrest looking for his first field goal of the game. That ball partially blocked by Lewis. Misses and there's no offensive rebound for the Gators. A little patience here. Forrest wide open. Didn't need wow. to be patient. There was zero. Raycon Gray kicks it to Forrest. That one is blocked by Lewis. And it went to Kelly. Jim Kelly, right. quarterback, yep. Buffalo Bills. And always, was, always a spectacular event. And with all due respect to your Hall of Fame play-by-play. -play and Raekwon Gray, Devin Vassell, their leading three-point shooter a year ago, along with Malik Osborne. And it's the Seminoles who begin with the ball, and Forrest's three is long. Let's get out to the arc, the FIBA distance. I like it. No, I love it. Spacing. Forrest steps through and scores, don't you? And Mike, it is sloppy here early. Forrest leaves it short off front iron. Johnson's got it. Offense and direct traffic consistently through the possession. Forrest goes across the lane, fades and misses. And Kobe White of North Carolina. Yeah, those guys are pretty good. I heard they're doing okay. They a lot of money. <laughs> Mike, I went into the locker room today. It's absolutely beautiful. And the influence of Jeff's father. There's four sayings on the wall, and it's just, it's so three for Florida State. Keep an eye on him. There he is. 
Inside out dribble. And he is not good, but he's a pretty good player. Murphy with a quick dribble is turned away by Prieto. It turns into a Florida State fast break, and the floater that didn't go last time does. And kicks it, and Murphy sends it through. Another triple. So the question you've got to ask if you're Leonard Hamilton, how is Ryan Murphy that far open? Oh, my goodness. And back to him in the post. Pitt really struggling offensively. Florida State starting to get their offensive mojo here a little bit. Shot. He was going to stretch the floor. But being able to defend and get to the basket and distribute also exceptionally valuable. Mike, remember the open just at the bottom of your screen. There's nobody near him. And Trey McGowan doesn't give him the basketball. They've missed him a few times tonight. Hard combination at the opposite end. Trey McGowan, Xavier Johnson. Can Smart. they do it again? On that possession. Trey McGowan and Xavier Johnson. Jeff Capel's going to ride these sophomores all the way to the barn. Only a second cam off the shot clock. Plenty of time to operate here for Florida State. Right away did not have a chance for Florida State to knock down a three ball. No doubt about that one. He was behind the line. Is that Clark the other end though? Is the trying to get that Florida State defense moving to explore advantages. Forrest backing down. Gray straight away. Swishes the three. Down three in the early going. Forrest works on Dane Goodwin. A drop off for Olinichuk, and he scores with the right over top of off, by the way. The last time the Irish defeated a ranked team, Mike Gray went shirtless in the locker room. The Maui Invitational, a win over Wichita State. And I believe Brad Brownell will get to choose a shooter among the other four Seminoles on the floor, but it appears Osborne will step to the line himself. Syracuse in North Carolina, 17 and a half. After he did not score in double figures, neither the previous two, seven total. 
ball drives, if you try to break it off, I mean, you've got to make play. What you have to do is try to create space and then attack that space. Corner three. Very by Pelosi. Averaging 13 points, eight and a half rebounds over the last four. Oh, Limichuk inside, scores. And a chance for a three point. Drive. Minute gone here in the half. Deflection by Walker. Gray out front. Here's Forrest. He's got Osborne with him. And the set down dunk. Yeah, Helms has had himself a day. Active on the backboard. A viable scoring option. Keeping his wolf back in it. Walker, a deep three from the right is good. Trent Forrest could have gotten over in front of that and taken a charge on Justin Champagne, which would have been his third foul. And rarely do you see Trent Forrest miss opportunities as such. Put pressure on the defense getting into the paint. Quick shot. Three-pointer and all met by Polite. These passes, you know, it encourages you to try another trickier pass. So, but right there, nothing available for MJ Walker. So, of course, he steps up and knocks them. You like Trent Forrest in there for his ability to be able to make plays for his teammates. Plus, he will not panic when he's in the midst of traffic. And Jay Walker buries the three. And the at Florida State and a win at Louisville. If you're able to pull that off, then you've got a great chance of being able to get in there. Very few teams as we watch Wyatt Wilkes not. ...in the building because of the NBA All-Star break. Isaac, Singleton, Bacon, Mann, Kevin Gailey, Kofor, and Kumaji. Break. So now, Louisville has to return the match here against Florida State on Big Monday, February 24th. Big three by Evan. And the shot clock continues to wind down at 12. Forrest, extra pass. Open man, Walker. It's good! Forrest, Forrest able to track it down and handle the trap, but only 15 seconds remaining. Williams got the two defenders in the air and lays it in. Free throw missed by MJ Walker coming up next nine o'clock the number one team in the nation now for the fourth straight week Baylor taking on Texas in Point game, 401 to go. Duke has the lead despite the fact that it has committed 20 turnovers. Florida State's big problem beyond the completely off the mark. Long trying to get inside again, but not there this time. Williams on the run will stop it as he goes airborne. And pursue it. Augusti with a three. Around and out. Two of the starters who did not start to Virginia. They've split the last 10. It's right here on the ACC Network and live on the ESPN app. As Wilkes commits the foul. And can't bank it in. And a whistle. And a foul on the Hurricane. It's incredible. That is just all effort. Denying. 2-49. to 49. Vassell will give it up. On the spin, Forrest. Well, and a beautiful shot to me for a team that goes so deep means there's a bunch of different lineups that are thrown out there. For the chemistry that these guys all share, despite the rotating piece. He finds him. I'll tell you one thing. He finds him. Let him out with him. Cobra Beats is another seven footer. He's seven one. When we He's going to work out anyway. Why not play? But I know he was frustrated over the NCAA ruling, but he would have probably been the first pick because he's that talented. Duncan's single season ACC rebound record set in 96 97. 
three to shoot, so Gibbs has to let it go. The only player they have who averages in double figures is Warren, just over 18 game, 18 a game. And there's Kimball. Not an ounce, but you, you know, people hate people like you, by the way, to <laughs> no, do that. I gain it. I just try to work it off. Not a rejection there, but to the tournament. Somebody always gets really hot, don't they? Yeah, you, you look forward to seeing who that performance. Last time out. He's going to have to fire it up with one on the shot clock. Talking. But as long as you're able to keep Buddy Beheim out of the game. Dolezal has been quiet today, has his pocket pick. No surprise, it's Trent Ferrar. Hughes going for two. Strong enough to finish to make it a one-point game. In front. Of Patrick Williams, just make him finish a tough shot. Jones, a lot of ball handling, couldn't find a support. Is the senior point guard, and their leading scorer is Devin Vassell. Where they have balanced scoring, and Dick said balance. That's one more than their average per game for the year. Under five minutes to go. Andrew. And at large selection. Well, North Carolina three and seven in conference under 500. They're in desperate need of several resume boosters. This Williams, the freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina, who did not play in the last two games for Florida State. Is that one is bad as and get a bad shot. Clark has it out front with Walter Pinsai, who was dribbling earlier. He had a huge game. This game somewhat encapsulates what college basketball has been this year. A number nine Florida State. In the last two years of the ACC, they've been four and 14 in each of those seasons. The oh, they're not going away. They're not going away. He looks like a pro today. He looks like a pro. He looks like a pro. 15 down. I would have never believed it. Inside the top 10, and when you look at some of the games that they've got coming up, I know conference plays a different animal, but they are establishing themselves as one of the truly... ...in handling right now. Against Williams, that was solid. The iffy situation, even with that. Collins has hit a three, and that one comes up. He's rangy. No spacing over there. Air ball and the undefeated Indiana Hoosiers, not ranked because of their schedule, have a four-point lead over Florida State. Green heaves one up with. He's having one of the best games of his life here tonight. Jackson Davis all the way! I think he needs timeout. Proctor worked it. Points in the paint. James with a jump stop and a nice finish. The McDonald's All-American. Hodge with the spin move and he'll head to the line. Turner, step back, can't get it to go, and it won't go. Osborne's first miss in a while, and Chattanooga with the lead has the ball. Gene Batiste got the roll, and he extends the does, and that's what he says is that he likes to have eight to ten guys, and he likes to wear you down, and that's the calling card of this Florida State team is that they're going to try to make life hard. For you. Wow. And now and, uh, Allison is switching sides with the floor. Faulkner drove, shot it short. Faulkner penetrates, contact, and he'll go to the line. Well, scoring ground for the Catamounts here. They've missed their last six shots. And a foul as Faulkner. 6'8", Charles Barkley-esque. He might be able to... 
play on that football team, they use some help. That part tough. All the way he tried to use the off the screen. Shot clock winding down. Moran with Forrest on him. One to shoot. John has to heave it. In by Kevin Gilly. You gotta knock that short jumper down. Smith attacks, blocked at the rim. Got it back. 842 because of picking up his second foul. And now he's got Terrence Mann on him. Younger. Great take. Terrence Mann made up his mind once he crossed midcourt. He was going to the basket. Steph Smith. Big. Florida State with a really nice year. 26 and 6 on the season. 13 and 5 in the ACC as Jerome comes up. Go back to 19. 75 76 that's when Phil Ford was the point guard for Dean Smith another miss from three But they've never led in the game. They're still down by three on the miss by Alexander Walker Hill strong baseline drive it He saw to tell the shot clock Kick. Ooh, A wicked crossover Childress, stop and start in a congested area. Too strong. This time they give the dribble handoff, or the, the handoff to the Med Hill. Alexander Walker. And yet, still in position to win it. Moody, slippery hands from the left block. Here comes Florida State. Two minutes gone here in the second.
Linichuk right now is the leading scorer with eight. On the drive, Thornton draws contact. This team. So uh, they're in a good spot, but they got to do a better job running shooters off the three-point line. Mooney on the drive, going up, looking for the two-handed finish.
amazing story. He was planning on playing college football, but he got sick and he couldn't show up to report date. A little local. Rich Wayne fires again. Yeah, he was able to speak a little Polish to him yesterday. Yeah, Jakshamash. Between, I should say, Florida State and Notre Dame playing one another, different conferences. But the Irish have beaten Leonard Hamilton all three times. Sure. Why? Who wants to iron when you're on the road? That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good <laughs> reason. You can't argue with that. Can't argue with the result. Of, they look to catch him with the lob. He's good for one of those. Luger wants three. Well off. Rebound. Hub out for Moody, finds him again. This time, Moody has just not had the answer on shots outside the paint. They are four of 18. It's good with 3.8 to go. No timeouts for Notre Dame. Here comes Hub, and a half court heave is no good. to go. 1971. Wait a minute, that was a pass to the corner. Hemingway knocks it in. They led 5-3. to three. And now 120 combined points later. They lead. And they got into a high low, but Enoch couldn't finish the play. And that led to transition. So the number eight team in the country trailing five at the break. And here's Markel Johnson spotting up. Right by the logo at the paint. Collapse that defense. Or dribble penetration is still an option. Three to shoot. Johnson going to heave it. Whistle for a foul here in the second half. Four on Teach's Wolfpack. I've often told him I think he ought to put a pedometer in his pocket during the game. I'd just like to know the miles. <laughs> but you rarely ever see anything like that. Now some guys get used to it. Others toss it in warm-ups. The swing up top for Champagny, but off target. Be to extend this lead, and Trent Forrest, uncharacteristically, another turnover in a position where he really could have just kept the basketball. To the tournament. And somebody always gets really hot, don't they? Yeah, you, you look forward to saying who that. <laughs> and I didn't follow up. I'd never heard that before. And when he saw me again today, he was happy to see me, but uh, just not allowed to do certain things. Performance. Last time out. He's going to have to fire it up with one on the shot clock. Talking for freshman scoring, something that Carmelo Anthony never did, something that Jerry McNamara never did. So even though you didn't shoot it great, I don't mention earlier, the longer we go, the life there it seems that we will not see him today. Shot clock at three, Bayheim. Air ball. You see how big that Florida State Louisville game will be in determining who is the ACC regular season title 20 for the Player of the Year award, Jared Butler, having an excellent year for the top team in the country. Harder to do when you're playing with 30 fouls as Goldwire is. Cash career double-double Saturday night in Chapel Hill when he had 17 and 10 in the winning bucket at the buzzer at the end of overtime. Tallahassee. And a line driver, that's going to feature it on that low block. You better have a skill set. Olicek, Olicek does. A terrific trap, nearly forced the turnover for the seven. Kept alive by Radford. They want a three to start the game. It comes up short from Horn. They traveling black, Garnet and Gold. Horn. The bell comes over the top. Horn comes out of the fray. Nolly. Nolly dropped it off. Out to Beatty for three. Polite tried to get a two for Cell. They miscommunicated there. And now Nolly for the long range three. At least three. But 
I think that you're looking ahead to that matchup against Carolina, and you want to make sure that you've got a healthy MJ Walker. There's another three right there. Virginia hasn't scored in more than three minutes. Or ten seconds. Turns it over. That's four of them for the Seminoles. Prentice Hub pulls up. Way Ooh. off target. It's an 8-0 Seminoles run. Extra pass, Leshevsky. Or those hands you mentioned from Mooney to try to get something going. TJ Gibbs, quick trigger, and if they're not stealing the ball, is really generating this offense. Hub. Did turn it over early, and Raekwon Gray gave up that one. And Mascheski too strong. Escape. Oh, but you don't run your offense by escaping. Mooney has to hoist. Rebound Gray. Come tonight. I think it's really been effective against Mooney. Goodwin rises. And connects. It's a hard matchup for Mooney. Oh, another one. Again, there's only two seconds remaining on the shot. Another big one from the Knowles. They have so many guys who can make big shots. Just a lot of wind if he makes the free throw. But that's what Leonard Hamilton wanted to go over. It's sick. Sure. Why? Who wants to iron when you're on the road? That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good reason. <laughs> you can't argue with that? Can't argue with the result of...
for BC. Eagles have lost four straight, though. Forrest Thornton with a nice up fake. Kicks it for Rishwain, who steps inside the arc. And the rebound for Forrest. Appears to be okay. Thornton, similar spot, similar result. To the corner for Gibbs. Driving kick. Prentice Hub air balls the three. On a stretch. Gibbs had a one step advantage. Finds Mooney in the corner. He fades away and leaves it long. Some Anything with chocolate and sugar. I'm always happy. We need it. It's late, man. Speaking about shirt off, by the way, the last time the other guard, not to mention postseason dreams. Florida State just saw last time down three points this time since they joined the league. The start of the 90s. Mooney with his first shot in more than 13 minutes, and it's well off the mark. This is bad offense. It's sell his first shot is good. Florida State's going to run every opportunity they get. Larry Hamilton gives this group a lot of flexibility. Tigers met by the lanky Seminoles in transition, but free throws coming here for Newman. I want to Earlier in the season, I think that if you've got Trent Forrest going out of the game, that's something that you'd probably be concerned about with Leonard Hamilton. And as of late, the right there and how talented they are. They got guys that shoot the ball well. This is one of the better three-point shooting teams that Leonard Hamilton has had in some time. Idol, who's on the watch list for the National Defensive Player of the Year. As are two guys in this game, Devin Vassar. That's one more than their average per game for the year. Under five minutes to go. Andrew Williams, the freshman from Charlotte, North Carolina, who did not play in the last two games for Florida State. Is that one is bad? Clark back to work. Stutter, fill the bucket, and rejected by Florida State.